Hi there, Pro Pride owners. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install Pro Pride's safety chain, breakaway, and wiring extension kit. So here's our seven way extender, just to give you a closer look at it. It's pretty much what you would see at the back of uh, most of your trucks. It's got a spring loaded mechanism on it. So when you're not using it, it helps keep out dirt, debris, and moisture. It accepts a standard seven way. So your trailer connector here We'll plug into this. And then you can see it's the other ends, just the same as your trailer connector, just a seven way. That'll give you the extension you need here. And we got about 18 inches of extension uh, with this cable here. You'll receive 17 inches of chain. And the chain that comes with our kit here is rated up to 15,800 pounds. So that's gonna be enough for our trailer here. It's got a max weight of about 12 and a half thousand. So that'll be plenty. You get about 20 inches of extra breakaway switch cable. So we're right outside the bay now. Uh, we got those some safety cable extensions here. We just pulled it right out the bay because we were kind of holding the door open so we didn't want to freeze everybody out in the shop. It's pretty chilly out here. So, uh, so we just got it right out here and we're gonna extend these cables right out here. So our ends here, if they don't extend about 24 inches past the end of your coupler, then you're not uh, likely gonna be able to hook up. And you can see here our chain's not gonna hook up. But Pro Pride does make an extension kit and that's what we're gonna be using. And in this extension kit, you'll get extension chains. We got two of those. You also get an extension for your breakaway cable if you need that. We'll see if we end up needing that. And you'll also get an extension for your wiring. And we already know on this one, we don't need it for our wiring. Our wiring's long enough, but it's cool that it comes with it. You got your end here for your trailer to plug into, and then this will plug into your truck to give you an extension if you did need it. And uh, you could even like make some kind of bracket to mount that further back or something if you, if you wanted to. Uh, we, yeah, we don't need that piece, so we're just gonna move that off to the side, and then we're gonna grab our chains here and start getting these on. So the first thing we wanna do is remove our hooks here off the end. It's got a little cotter pin in it that holds it in place. So we're just gonna straighten out the cotter pin And then we're gonna just push it through. All right, we got twisted it back and forth for a while until it broke loose and we can pull it out of there. Our pin comes out the other side here. And we're just gonna set these right over there. This is our new components. This is gonna connect our two chains together. So straighten out the cotter pins on the end there. Take that out. And we're gonna hook this right on to our safety chains that are on here. Slide that down. And then we'll twist the end of our cotter pin to make sure that that stays in place. Now we'll remove the pin on the other side here. So we're gonna straighten this out. Pull that out the other side. And now we're gonna go to our chain. One of the things I wanted to check though is to see, make sure our chains aren't gonna be too long when they're installed. So if we're gonna have a hook on it, probably sit up something like this. And that actually looks like that's gonna be a pretty good length for us. So we're good to go there. But if it was too long, um, you would probably want to either, uh, you could shave off one of these. There's probably enough room in here too. If we slide this out, you could probably take like and move a link down and then uh, see if this fits in here. Probably will fit though. Yeah, so you can move a link down like this and then our piece will slide through and that, that way you're taking one link out of it. You could again move more than one link down. Uh, if you get too many links down, you don't want stuff hanging down here, dragging on the road though, that could grab. So if you got more than one or two, you might want to cut that excess off. You can use a rotary tool uh, or like a reciprocating blade to cut these. I'd probably want to put it in a vise if you were going to use a, a reciprocating blade. Okay, so we got, we got these guys. We know we're going to connect our chain to it. We know it's a good length. So we want the full chain for our setup here. So we're going to that far link sliding it through. I'm going to slide it just the other direction, just for continuity to uh, make our counter pins come out the same side. 
we'll slide this pin back in. And then we're gonna spread it open. There we go. So now we're just gonna reinsert our end here onto our link. So we're just gonna grab this, slide our pin back through and reinstall the cotter pin. We do have additional cotter pins here at eTrail that you can purchase. Uh, Cause I would have liked to have seen Pro Pride give you a couple extra, these rusty cotter pins here. Um, this one didn't break, it did come out of there, but I would just feel more comfortable with a fresh pin over a, a rusty old one. So you can also order those here at eTrailer if you wanted to make sure, because that would probably give yours a quick inspection if you're gonna do this at home. If yours look worse than this, then I would definitely replace them. So that looks good. This is gonna work out. This one is able to clip on there. So I'm gonna repeat the same process now for my other chain so I can get it clipped on over here. So you also get some safety cable extension here, and this is what it looks like. Now our safety cable is long enough that it's not gonna have any issues hooking to our hitch here. So there's no reason for us to add this on there. And this actually works out perfectly in the length uh, to match our chains. So that's great. But I'm gonna show you guys how to use it just so you can see. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna pull the carabiner off of here. So what you would normally do to extend this, this guy here, we're gonna unravel. It's got a little bit of tape around it, so we're gonna undo the tape. And if we look here, there's these two little crimp beads. So one of these crimp beads is gonna allow you to make a loop. So we can slide that on there. You can bring this back, bring it down inside of here. Looks like we gotta twist this to make sure it stays twisted. There we go, and that just drops down in there like that, and you get your loop. And you can choose the size of the loop you want. You know, you can make it as big as the customers here. You could have a smaller loop. I mean, that's really up to you for how you want, how big you want your loop to be. But it goes through like that. We'll make the loop just a little bit bigger there. Something like that'll be fine. That'll definitely be able to, you know, go around the hitch and stuff. Give yourself some excess sticking out the back there. You don't need a bunch. Just make sure you got some sticking out. So you can see we've got sticking out of both side. And now we're just gonna crimp this down. And we're actually just gonna use a pair of wire crimpers to do so. There we go. We got a nice solid loop on there. So all we would do now with the other end, you could uh, normally just cut the loop off of this end and then you just slide this on one end of your new cable and then after you cut the loop off of your old cable, you would simply slide your old cable on this other end and then crimp it, and then you would see you'd have that extended that far. Now again, we don't need to extend it on this guy, so we're gonna let him hang on to the rest of this cable here. We've got it, the loop pre-set up for him uh, if he needs it for another trailer or maybe later on down the road. So we'll just put this back in the bag, in the box for him. And then we're gonna hook this up to our hitch. So that's a nice little kit from Pro Pride to kind of give you every everything that you would need here as far as extending your components uh, to compensate for the Pro Pride hitch here. And that completes our look at Pro Pride's safety chain breakaway and wiring kit.